So, so, so when your buddy takes your cat to get it spayed and neutered at cats and canines, and you notice the ear here, the owner went to pick up the cat. They actually gave the cat to some lady that traps feral cats. Yeah, she was the there. lady left with the cat. Kitties and canines had to figure out what they did wrong. They called the lady back that had all the stray cats to get the original owner their cat back. However, if you... So, do you think kitties and canines should have a lawsuit against them for number one, uh, what do we call this? What do you call it when you start to cutting people's body parts off? Mutilating, Mutilating somebody's cat, um, scarring it for life and actually giving it away this is a lot of ptsd uh and then they actually still charged them for the whole so deal. here's what's crazy um they actually tried to hide everything too so uh she had to wait literally like two hours to get her cat and she seen you know when it first happened this lady come up that had all the stray animals and she's got one of those wild cat traps picked up a bunch of cats and and my friend's wife was like, man, that looks like my cat, but who's gonna think the place gives, gives somebody else your cat? So as they're still figuring it out, uh, she kind of overhears one of them saying, I think we gave her cat away. So over the process of literally an hour and a half of this, that, and the other, phone calls were made. And apparently they had this woman that traps these feral cats come to the back door with the cat and uh, wasn't really going to admit she gave the cat away. They'd done this or that or the other. Uh, just came out and said they'd accidentally snipped her ear. Um, and, uh, and then they even went to the extent to brag how this girl that's been working for like a week and a half had done such a great job at mutilating the, the cat's ear like uh, Tyson did Holyfield, you know. Um, my question is, is she even certified? Uh, who's double checking this stuff if it's only a week, you know? Are these volunteers? We, we got to deal with corporations now. They don't want to pay anybody, so everybody that gets hired is uh, nothing personal, but we've got some low IQ people working these check stands these days, if you know what I'm saying. But anyway, what do y'all think should happen after somebody gets their cat mutilated? I believe Trump just passed a federal regulations where this is now a federal offense if you uh, harm animals. Uh, was it even given any antiseptic? Anyway, what are your thoughts? Leave a comment.